Hi there, it's Yvette, and today I am here because I am entering the I Am Roses challenge, and it's called April Showers, Bring May Flowers, and the challenge is you have to create two flowers using I Am Roses products. So this is my flower that I've created, and I am going to share with you how I created this. I took one of these flowers and I took one a little of my bamboo stick and what I did was I just bend in the tips just a little bit only because I'm using burlap in the back and I want the burlap to show. So after doing that just a little bit like that, I took one of their big daisies and I sprayed it very lightly with the Lindy Stamp Gang Golden Sleigh Bells. Let me show you one before. See, it's a little light and because I wanted it to match with my burlap, I just wanted to make it a hint darker. So then what I did after I sprayed it, here's one that I made just to save time. I used this light blue and let me just pour a little bit more in my palette over here. What I did was I just brush the outside. And after doing that all around, I did the back side as well. And I didn't do anything in the middle. There we go, almost done. And then I'm going to use my heat gun here to dry it. It dries really, really fast. Okay, so then what I did was I fold it in half and then in half again. And then I put a little bit of hot glue right at the tip and put it right there. Then I'm going to do the exact same thing with the, uh, the second one. Put some glue right there and put it right next to it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these stamens, also from I Am Roses. I'm going to take about three of them. Oh, one more. And then when I fold it in half, I have six little petals or stamens. I'm just going to go ahead and cut a little bit off. And I'm going to put some glue some hot glue right at the tip and then I'm going to place it right in the middle if I can find my middle there it is and stick it right there in the middle of course don't get your fingers glued in there also let me just tuck that in a little bit fluff it up a little there we go and then Using my Tim Hall's die, I'm using the little one, this one right this here. This is what I got. Now, let me just add a little bit of hot glue gun right there. I lined it up where it's not too big, not too small, but just that I can see a little bit, like so. And then I took a second one. Some glue again just a little bit and I came on the opposite side and again I just want a little bit to show and there you go that's my flower I was missing one more thing I want to put a leaf on it so this is also from I am roses the leaf so I'm gonna cut here put a little bit of glue and I'm going to place it right about there. And I think I'm going to put a second one like I did with the other one. Put 
think this one I want to put it a little closer, like so. And there you go. And that is my homemade flower. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put everything together in my layout, and I will be back with my layout and show you the whole completed work. Thanks. Bye. See you in a little bit. Okay, I'm back. I got my layout put together and I'm so excited because I just love the way it came out. Now, when I went shopping a few weeks ago with um, Friday and Scrapless, hey girls, we had so much fun that day. But one of the things that we saw was this Graphic 45 Little Darlings and my sister said, you have to, have to get it. So I got it. And oh my God, did I have fun putting this layout together with this paper. It is just adorable. All right, so let me show you my my layout and here it is I'm so super excited I wish my lighting was better so you can see it better but um the, this one and this one over here and let me see if I can zoom in a little bit for you so you can see the flower are my two homemade flowers that I made using I am roses and there's the other one and of course, these are pictures of me and my granddaughters. And what I did, okay, let's start in this corner. This window here, I I learned how to do a watching saw crafter. And I will put her link below where she shows how to make this out of cardboard. It is adorable. I love it. So I wanted my shutter here to look like the stairs over here at my sister's house. So what I did to give it this look and effect with, I mean, it's pretty, pretty close, I think. What I did first, I colored it with brick red, but then I didn't like it because it was too, too red. So then what I did was I added a little bit of brown to it. And it was good. It was close. Um, it matched more like this side of the stairs. But then I wanted a little more like this. So then what I did was I added... Um, just a little bit of metallic bronze, just very little, like lightly spread it all over. And then I was happy with the way it came out in the color. And then all the flowers, all the other flowers are from I Am Roses. This little butterfly here, I fussy cut using their paper. And it's this one right here. They had, no, oh, I'm sorry, wrong paper. They're using the little butterflies from this paper. I fussy cut one of them. This one, I, I fussy cut the little stamps and used one down here and these two down here. And this one here reminds me of her just with lighter hair here. And this one looks just like her when she was a baby. So I thought that was perfect. And then I fussy cut the little girl here and the little darling here. And that is adorable that I used in this first page over here, which is just, isn't that beautiful? And let's see what else. All the paper in the background are all, of course, from the same collection. This trim here, I got at Michael's. This blue one, I'm not sure. I can't remember where I got it. It was in my stash. This little cameo I got at Michael's. Again, I Am Roses. I Am Roses, which I sprayed with um, Golden Sleigh Bells to make it. And I put another one back here. Cut the hiding right back there and let's see what did I miss this vellum I wanted to put a quote because I'm gonna put this in a shadow box and put it in my in my hall in my house in my hallway and I was looking for something that ex that could express the girls and I and when I saw everything I thought that was perfect because that's what they are to me they're just everything but anyway this is my entry for the I am roses challenge April showers may bring me flowers um, I hope you guys like the flower and the layout. And um, please leave a comment. I would love to see, hear what you think of my layout. I'm so excited. All right. Thanks, girls. Have a good day. Um, have a good weekend. And I'll see you soon. Bye.